Okay, so now that you've installed and activated Gravity View, you are ready to create your first view. So to create a new view, just hover over Views here in the left-hand menu and click New View. Now the first step is to give your view a name. All right, and the next step is to select a data source. Now the data source tells Gravity View where to pull information from for displaying on the front end. So there are two options. You can either use a form preset or you can choose an existing form in Gravity Forms. All right, so we'll go through both of these options and we'll start with choosing an existing form. So I'll select the contact us form. And now, as you can see, I'm prompted to choose a view type. So there are a number of different view types here available in Gravity View. We've got the table layout, the list layout, the data tables table, the maps layout, and then finally the DIY layout. Now, all of these layouts are useful um, depending on the type of application you're building. So if you want some more information about the different view types, check out the article linked below in the description. And it's also important to note that depending on your license level, um, certain view types, you, you may not have access to certain view types. So the table and list layouts come standard with Gravity View Core. The data tables layout is available in the Core Plus extensions license. And the maps and DIY layouts are only available in the All Access license. All right, so let me select a layout type. I'll select the list layout. There we go. And as you can see, now the view editor loads. This is the Gravity View drag and drop view editor. So we'll look at this in more detail in the next video. All right, so now let's have a look at form presets. I'll select user form preset. And now, as you can see, there are a bunch of different templates here that we can choose from. So a form preset essentially um, is a template corresponding to a, a sort of a common application or use case. Um, so as you can see, we've got templates here for like a job board, a resume board, an issue tracker, um, and there are quite a few more. And when you select a form preset, um, Gravity View will automatically configure the view editor for you and it will also uh, create automatically create a new form for you in Gravity Forms. So let's go ahead and select the business listings template. Now, as you can see, the view editor has loaded and it is pre-configured with all the fields that we would need for a business uh, directory. So now all we need to do to create the corresponding form in Gravity Forms is just publish the view. All right, so now that that's published, you can see there's a message here saying a new form was created for this view, Gravity View, Gravity view Business Listing. So we'll head over to the Forms page by hovering over Forms and then clicking Forms. And if we scroll down, there we go. That is the form that Gravity View has automatically created for us. And we can click in to, the, to edit the form and we'll see that it contains all of the necessary fields for collecting business information.